Hello again, everybody. Uh, Mr. Monroe here with another virtual art lesson for you. Uh, today, what we're going to do is we're going to be making a homemade picture puzzle. Right? I'm sure at home, uh, you've probably at some point in your long lives, uh, you know, put together some different pieces to make a puzzle. And uh, today, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make our own. Uh, so, uh, before we get started, though, I want to introduce you to a special guest who's going to help us today with uh, uh, our puzzle. And uh, this person is, is super, super, super smart. In fact, their name is Mr. Smarty Pants. So um, I'm looking forward to working with Mr. Smarty Pants today and getting some guidance and, uh, and, and learning some new stuff from, from, from a true genius. Mr. Smarty Pants knows everything, like everything there is to know. So it's, it, we're lucky to have him along with us today. So uh, what, do, what do you think, Mr. Smarty Pants? Are you ready to do some art? You want to say hi to our, our friends out here? And, and we're going to, you know, I just introduced you. We're going to get started and stuff. You ready? Of course I am ready. I'm a smarty pants. Of course I'm ready. I know you were going to ask me that question before you even asked it to me. That's how smarty pants I am. Of course. Now let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I am so smart. I know everything there is to know about everything. I know all the lines, the shapes, the colors, everything about art, especially how to make a puzzle. It's so easy, so easy. So I'm going to tell you this. I'm we over here waiting for when it's time to do the art. You talk to the people, you do your thing, Mr. Man, uh, Man, Mr. Man, Mangoose? What's your name again? I forget this. Mr. Mr. Man, Monday? No, uh, Mr. Uh, anyway, Mr. Monroe, that's right. Okay, so when Mr. Monroe is ready to do this, Call me, I'll be waiting. I already know this stuff. I'm so smart the pants. Waste my time. Okay, Mr. Smarty Pants, we'll we'll let you know when we're ready to get going. All right, well, back to you then. Uh <clears throat> so we'll we'll need a few materials to make this uh art project happen today. <clears throat> the first thing you'll need is some paper. Now, this kind of paper I'm using is just regular, you know, copy paper, uh, which you might have at home. Um you could do this with any kind of paper, but honestly, the best kind of paper is heavier weight paper like if you have uh, something called tag board or um, a tag board or like a construction paper or uh, something with a little you know a little bit more uh, heft to it something that's a little sturdier that works a little bit better than this but it doesn't matter really it's really not that big a deal so we'll need some paper <clears throat> we'll need some scissors we'll need a uh, pencil of course We'll need some colors, maybe if you have crayons, markers, color pencils, whatever you've got available home. And I, I'm going to use a marker for uh, a step that happens later. If you don't have this stuff, it's okay. Just do the best with what you have. Uh, a ruler to help us with some straight lines. It's not 100% you know, required or mandatory. I mean, it just might help you. Uh, and then something to keep some little pieces in. So like I recommend maybe like a little sandwich bag. Or something like that because when we get done cutting the puzzle out you know we're gonna have a whole bunch of little pieces <clears throat> and so something like that is kind of nice to keep them in all right so making a picture puzzle the first part well that's the, the, the picture part all right so I'm not gonna walk you through the picture because I, I think that you can draw your own picture I have confidence in your abilities um, but the picture can be whatever you want so if you have uh, you know something that you're interested in draw that if you have you know uh, certain characters that you like um, if you know you're in a, uh, certain stories or books or movies you could draw a scene from one of those uh, you could draw you know your favorite people you know maybe a portrait of your family uh, an outside picture just whatever you want to draw so for example if I drew a seascape right that's a picture of stuff that's underwater I wanted to make sure that whatever I draw if I draw my seascape that it fills up the whole entire paper, right? I don't want to draw just a little picture of something in the middle and then have a whole bunch of blank space around it. Because when it comes time to do the puzzle, that's not going to be a really fun puzzle, right? If I just have one little picture in the middle and then all this blank space. So when you're drawing your picture, make sure that you you draw and color if you have, if you have colors from side to side, top to bottom, corner to corner, edge to edge. So the whole surface of this paper is has been treated somehow okay so if i draw a seascape i'm not just going to draw a little fish here and a little seaweed here I, i'm going to draw and color out the whole thing okay 
So let's say I did that. Let's pretend that I, I drew my picture and then the next step would be to put the lines over it. Now, if you're uh, sort of learning and your um, art skills are kind of developing, then I wouldn't recommend creating a puzzle that's like super, super uh, challenging, right? Wouldn't, wouldn't you agree, um, Mr. Smarty Pants? Like if people are just kind of starting out, like maybe not be so fancy right away. Give me this, let me see through this. Uh, no, this, for me, this not, this not challenge. For me, I need the big challenge. This is so easy for me. For you, this might be what you need to do, but for me, ah, 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 I need to be a challenge. Mr. Maro, you know me, you know me a long time, you know this. This is too easy for me. You got to bring the challenge, okay? Bring the challenge. Okay, well, Mr. Smarty Pants, we understand. You're, you're a genius. You, you need to be challenged. So, But I'm saying for us, who might be learning how to do this, you know, for the first time, this might be a challenge for you, and that's okay. So... What I did was I drew a line across, a, a, a horizontal line across through the whole paper, and then I drew two vertical lines like the number 11, right? So it kind of looked like an H whose arms are just like too long, right? So that gave me six boxes, and then what I would do, I would cut them out, cut with your scissors on those lines. Make sure you're getting on those lines. And then a trick that helps too, sometimes before you cut it out, what you might want to do for later, when if, if you're having a hard time and you're like, oh, I can't figure out where this goes. If before you start cutting the pieces, you, you write on the back a number, the number one, two, three, four, five, six. That way, if you're having a hard time sorting them out, you can kind of remember which one is which and where they go if the picture clues aren't helping you. And then you get to have fun, kind of putting it all together, piecing it out, making your puzzle fit back together. Yep, I just did it. You have to take my word for it. I just did. Now, after you do it, I encourage you to take that, oops, take that plastic bag, this one, and put those pieces back in. Kind of mix them up a little bit, put them in that bag, and go challenge somebody in your family, right, or somebody that you know, and say, hey, try my puzzle, see if you can figure it out, see if you can solve it. I got one for Mr. Smarty Pants later, okay? All right, now if, if you need a little bit more challenge, then draw more lines, right? So this one's a little bit more complicated, so what I've did here is I took my ruler, and I did one, two, three vertical lines. And I did one, two, three horizontal lines. Now there's more squares. So the more lines you make, the more shapes you're going to have, and the more complicated your puzzle is going to be. Now, I will caution you. Do not get carried away and draw like 670 lines on here because then when you start cutting it out, and trying to put it together, it's going to be a challenge, right? It's going to be maybe too hard. So uh, just kind of be realistic with where you're at, okay? So this one's a little bit more complicated, a little bit more complex, a little bit more challenging, right? No? Well, Mr. Smarty Pants doesn't think this is a challenge. Well, Mr. Smarty Pants, we have a another option we could try too. We could actually draw, we could draw the shapes of the puzzle pieces to look more like these kind of puzzles, right? So this is this is pretty complicated, but what we did is it drew some lines that go down and then they kind of alternate and switch as you go down and you draw the lines that go this way and they kind of alternate and switch as they go. And then it just creates a very complicated sort of puzzle. Now, if this is overwhelming for you, then don't even, you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you some options that might, no? Mr. Smarty Pants still doesn't think this is challenging. Wow, okay. Well, if, if you wanted to try something like this, again, what I might do is on the back, I might number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So as you're putting things together, you can kind of peek at the back and it might help you. 
right, to kind of figure out which one is which, okay? Now, what's that, Mr. Smarty Pants? Huh? Hold on one second. I think he wants to ask, ask us something or say something. Hold on. You have got to be kidding me, Mr. Monroe. You have got to be joking to me. You have got to be joking to me to say this is a challenge. Ha! I do this with my eyes closed in sleepy time. This is not difficult. This is too easy. Give me something to challenge me, please. Challenge the smarty pants. I'm the smarty pants. This never do. This will never challenge me. My goodness. Well, okay. <laughs> Mr. Smarty Pants definitely likes a challenge. Well, okay, we'll give it to him. Hey, Mr. Smarty Pants, I was working on a, uh, a puzzle earlier that I think you might like. Yeah, you know, we added lots of lines. Lots of them. Yep, lots of little lines that I think will be just the challenge you need, sir. <sighs> yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And I got all the pieces in a little bag here for you. All right, so... Uh, I'll let you work on that while I, I, I wrap things up here, Mr. Smarty Pants. Good luck. Well, I hope that you uh, come up with some good picture puzzles, and I'd love to see what you have. So if um, when you get all done, if you want to take a picture and just show me, you know, kind of what you came up with, I'd love to see. And uh, please share it. In the meantime, you be safe and take care of yourselves, and I'll see you around, okay? Let's check and see how Mr. Smarty Pants is doing on this puzzle. How you doing, Mr. Smarty Pants? Okay, uh, this one, uh, this one goes there. Uh, this one, oh boy, this one uh, goes there. Uh, this, uh, <laughs> this one goes uh, there. Oh boy. Ha <laughs> ha